Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use YouTube and Weebly together to create a video blog series. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm already signed into my YouTube account, and let's hit the upload button. And rather than uploading a raw video file, we're just going to hit the record from webcam capture. Now let's hit start recording, allow the webcam to be used by YouTube, and it's recording. We can do our video blog entry. We can say, this week I have not shaved in a couple of days, and that's why I look like this on camera. Uh, but your students could simply do a quick update on the week of things they learned that week or questions they have for the next week, just kind of a, a simple way to capture what they're thinking about. Rather than doing all the writing, they can do it on camera. So I hit the stop recording button, click continue, and webcam recordings tend to upload very quickly. We'll just rename it and say it's a video blog entry for November 23rd, 2015. I'll tag it as a video blog. Now I can make the video public, unlisted, or private. If you're not familiar with those three settings, uh, very quickly, unlisted means it won't appear in a search, but anybody who has the link will be able to view it. Private will be only available to you and people you invite by email to view the video. And public, obviously, is public for the whole world to see. I'll make that unlisted. And now we're going to create a new playlist and call it Video Blog Entries. And just like a video, we can make our playlist public, unlisted, or private. In the classroom setting, I'm going to make this one unlisted and say create. Now we're going to save all those changes. Our changes are saved. Let's hit the playlist button on the left hand side. We have this new playlist called video blog entries. Let's select that. Now let's hit the share button and we're going to grab the embed code for the playlist. Now, the nice thing about embedding a playlist is that anytime you add something new to a playlist and it's embedded into a web page or a blog post, it's going to automatically update and display the next video in the series as well. So let's hit the share button. Let's grab the embed code. Now, if you're a Weebly user, you're probably already familiar with this layout. Let's go ahead and drag in the embed code gadget and put it right in this in this page. We'll paste it right in. We'll position it in the center of the page and publish. And so that's all there is to it. Now anytime the student goes and adds a new video entry to that playlist, the, the playlist on the Weebly page will be updated and we can go ahead and take a look at that playlist setting. And we'll have our ordering set as date added, so the newest one is always first. And we'll save it. Now, if you wanted to have students collaborate and add all their video entries to the same playlist, you could simply go to playlist settings and say collaborate and allow contributors. You can also send them a link and kids could add their video blog entries to the same playlist. So you wouldn't necessarily have to have every student have his or her own playlist. You could have one playlist that they all contribute to. It's kind of up to you on how you want to manage that. Uh, I prefer to have every student have his or her own playlist, but some people might want to have all the students adding to the same playlist. Either way, it works out well. It's just your own preference on classroom management or digital management, if you will. So that's how you can use YouTube to create a video blog series on Weebly. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.